Question 146. The middle ear, which consists of the tympanic cavity and the auditory tube. The tympanic cavity is lined by mucous membrane and filled with air. It contains a chain of movable bones, auditory ossicles, which transmit the vibrations of the tympanic membrane into the inner ear. The tympanic cavity has six walls. The lateral wall is called a membranous wall, is formed by the tympanic membrane. The medial wall is called a labyrinth wall. It separates the middle ear from the internal ear. The posterior wall is also called mastoid wall. It presents the entrance into the mastoid antrum, which is continuous with mastoid air cells contained in the mastoid process. Then we have the anterior wall, which separates the tympanic cavity from the carotid canal. The roof is called a tegmental wall and separates the cavity from the middle cranial fossa and it is seen as tegment tympani. And the floor is called a jugular wall, jugular wall. It separates the tympanic cavity from the jugular fossa. The auditory ossicles transmit the vibrations from the tympanic membrane to the inner ear. We have the malus, also called the hammer, which is attached to the tympanic membrane. And you have the incus, also called anvil, which are in between. And then you have the stapes, or the stirrup, which is anchored into the fenestra vestibuli. This is the smallest bone in the body. Then you have the muscles of the tympanic cavity. You have two muscles. The musculus tensor tympani and musculus stapedius. These are the tendons. And here you can see the muscular tensor tympani, where it goes. The blood supply of the tympanic cavity is by the maxillary artery, by the posterior auricular artery, middle meningeal artery and ascending pharyngeal artery. The nerve supply is by the tympanic plexus. Then we have the auditory tube, which is a canal connecting the tympanic cavity with the nasal part of the pharynx. It is directed ventromedially and inferiorly. It consists of a bony and cartilaginous part. The bony part starts in the anterior wall of the tympanic cavity in the tympanic opening of auditory tube and the cartilaginous part ends on the lateral wall of nasopharynx in the pharyngeal opening of auditory tube. The blood supply is by branches from the ascending pharyngeal artery and min middle meningeal artery. The nerve supply is from the tympanic plexus.